can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh Lord, I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. Oh Lord, can you feel it coming in the air tonight? Oh Lord. Well, you told me you were drowning I would not lend a hand i seen your face before, my friend I don't know if you know who I am But I was there when I saw what you did I saw it with my own two eyes You can wipe off that grin I know where you've been It's all been a pack of lies I can feel it coming in the air tonight Oh Lord I've been waiting for this moment For all my life Oh Lord, can you feel it coming in the air tonight? Oh Lord, oh Lord. Well, I remember, I remember, don't worry, worry, how could I ever forget? time we ever met but I know the reasons why you keep your silence up no you don't fool me the hurt doesn't show the pain still grows so strange it to you and me campfire guitar songs of all time and the song is of course that 1980s classic by phil collins in the air tonight and there's two reasons i chose this song to make the list the first one is it's super simple to play three open chords i'll show you those shortly and the other one is everyone loves to sing along to the song but there is a third reason and that is it's just a great song to play and i'll show you these chord variations that add some I guess some mystery and some depth to the song, not standard open chords. But as an absolute added bonus, this song does transition seamlessly into an R&B dance floor classic by Usher. Now do stick around, I'll show you that one, and you'll end up getting two songs for the price of one. Now, as always, I start each of my lessons with a bit of a ripping yarn about the song and the singer, so do stick around for that because I guarantee you're going to learn something you didn't know before. But if all you want to learn is how to play this song, the timestamps to the lesson is below, just skip ahead. But enough preamble, let's make a start. So at the time of the song was released in 1981, Phil Collins was the reluctant front man for British rock band Genesis. And by reluctant, what I mean is he was asked to fulfill a vacancy left by Peter Gabriel, who'd left the band about a year earlier. The trouble is Phil had taken some time off from the band because he was dealing with personal issues. He had just gone through a divorce. That was the whole reason behind this song, In the Air Tonight. 
It is all about his feelings, his anger, his emotions as he was going through his divorce. So Phil describes the song as something that just came spontaneous to him. The lyrics were not really a lot of thought went into them. They just came out of him in a single take. That was how he was feeling at the time and the rest is history. So the song is famous for the tension that it builds up over the first sort of three minutes of the song, slowly building up, and then the tension's released with that epic drum solo by Phil Collins, which many critics have described as the greatest drum solo of all time. You make up your own mind. It is certainly a memorable element of the song and a master stroke of songwriting. So the song's had a number of revivals through the year being featured in movies such as Risky Business with Tom Cruise, that famous love scene on a train with Rebecca De Mornay. featured in Miami Vice, the very first scene from the very first episode. But one thing I remember most was a Cadbury's chocolate ad featuring a gorilla playing the drums. I had I have no idea what that had to do with chocolate, but that was a super successful ad campaign because of the song and the ridiculousness of a gorilla playing drums. Oh no. So today I'm going to show you two ways to play the song. The simple, I guess, beginner way with standard chords, and then I'm going to show you those chord variations which just add that texture, that depth, the richness to the song, and a few little strumming and picking techniques to really draw out the tension in the song. And don't forget, I'm also going to transition straight to that Usher dance floor classic. So let's break down this song right now and I'll show you the chord options. And yes folks, I'm a left hand guitar player playing on a right hand strung guitar. <clears throat> so my finger patterns may appear upside down to you, don't let that worry you. I'm going to put the chord patterns on the screen there and you can follow along. Right, the basic chords to the song are an A minor to a G. You can do an open G if you want, but I do a bar G. To an F. And it sounds like this, just quickly. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh Lord. And all you're doing is a bit of a circle between those chords. So A minor, G, F, G, A minor, G, F, G, A minor. But of course I strongly recommend you use these next chords to play the song because it just sounds so much richer so much more, I guess, mood to the song. And those chords are the A minor, you keep that one. You go to an F major seven, and you're going to a G. And they sound like this. So what you've got with those chords, if you've got this constant ringing or droning of the skinny E string, and if you want to introduce another cool element to the song, you pick the D string and you've got that constant droning sound of the D string. Let me show you. Now hey folks, videos like this always get copyright strikes from YouTube because I'm doing somebody else's song that I don't have the rights to, which means I'm going to get zero ad revenue from this video forever. So if you want to support small channels like mine, be sure to give me a like and a subscribe, or check out my Patreon page below and maybe no obligation, but consider signing up to become one of the Campfire Guitar Hero band members. And of course playing the song, there's no set way to play it. You can do it like I did there. You can arpeggio pick. Or you can 
down strum with a few little up strums. As always folks, I do do a free song sheet for each of my lessons. The link is below, it's on my Patreon page, no email required, you can just download that and that'll help you learn to practice and play the song. Now to build the song up, you start soft and gentle as I do in my playthrough, but the last verse is where I guess it's the outro, it's the crescendo of the song. And that's where I transition from these open chords, A minor, G6 over 9, F major 7. And then I go back to the traditional bar chords where I'm emphasizing, I guess, the bass strings. So it sounds like this. get the idea you can see what I'm doing there instead of these nice gentle um, strums on the skinny high strings I'm doing the bass line string trying to get that sort of drum heavy sound to the song you can even do the A minor bar chord on the fifth fret Now in terms of vocal ability, using my patented Patreon vocal ability rating system, I reckon this song is Shower Singer. It's not that hard to sing. And speaking of Patreon, if you want to support me more than just liking and subscribing to this video, then go check out the link below and consider becoming one of the members of the Campfire Guitar Hero Band. So I did mention earlier how this song transitions seamlessly to that Usher dance floor classic. Let me show you that right now. So we back in the club, got them bodies rocking from side to side, side, side to side. Hands up, suddenly we got a hands up, no control on my mind. Sweet, I've been looking for, I think I remember those eyes, 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 eyes. Baby, tonight, DJ got his phone. So there you have it folks, you've just added two epic songs for the price of one lesson. How good is that? So if you're getting any sort of value out of this next lesson, be sure to return the karma, you know the routine, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and check out my Patreon page, no obligation, but support small channels like mine through things like Patreon. So thanks for watching folks, and do check out the other songs in this list of the top 10 campfire guitar songs of all time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next week.